Welcome everyone. Hey, Hi, everyone. Mark. Tina. Thanks for joining us. We're so excited for everyone to be here. We hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And today we're talking about really, what are we talking about today, Mark? Tina, we got like one teaching action we really want to highlight with everyone. And we want to talk about like the enculturating to we, right? Yes, yes, yes. And so we're actually revisiting one of the papers that we did before. And we feel mm -hmm. that this is so important that we're going to do it again. So before yeah. we go and we talk about really what to look for and why this we is so important and what it means for teaching math and what it means for parents yes. that are thinking about their kids' classrooms, um, we just want to thank everyone for subscribing. We're really getting up there, Mark. We're getting people subscribing. We're getting people sharing. Um, and it's really, like, it's awesome. And I just want yes. to thank everyone. And please continue because it helps us get all of this stuff out there. So our goal is just to, like, not have any more traumatized kids in math and parents in math and teachers in math. So yeah, all of your sharing and subscribing really helps. So thank you so much and please continue. All right, Tina. So let's get down to it. So we were, we really want to talk about this idea of enculturating, right? Yeah. To the we, is that right? Am I? Uh, yes. Yes. So I'm just yeah. going to bring up that. So this is the paper that mm. we did lot that we looked at before. Yeah. This is an activist paper. And the one that we really want to look at is the enculturating. Um, and what it talks about is it talks about the we in there. So here it is right here in the paper. Um, but like we, this is a really important thing, Mark. Like I remember back in the day, this was years back, people are always saying like, why are you using we when you're teaching? When people would come and observe me in mm -hmm. teaching. And yeah. they thought it was a little strange, right? To all of a sudden like, here, like, okay, we're going to do this and we this and we that, right? And they're like, you know, what are you doing kind of thing? But it's a really, really important piece because it really sets the stage for like, who, what are you doing here? Like, I'm actually learning with the kids. Like, I see us as a community, mm -hmm. right? A community of practice that we're doing this together. It's not me teaching and them learning, right? This is right. something that we're like doing together. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can hear teachers describe their classrooms in this we using we and our, right? Yeah. And then, um, and it's funny because I know teachers will hear this even when students describe their work with their peers, right? So they'll yeah. say things like, um, they'll go up to the kids and say like, you know, what's going on here? What do you, what do you, what, what's everyone thinking about here? And the kids will say, oh, well, we were thinking or our first thoughts were, you know, and so we can see that collective developing within the group work as opposed to the kids saying, oh, well, first I did that. And, you know, Tina did this, right? As opposed to, you know. Yeah. And so I think that's a really important piece. So that's what we want people to take away from. If you're a teacher, um, just sort of, and if you're wondering, you know, how, how, where your teaching's that kind of thing, see if when you talk about your teaching to someone else, if you use the word we and our, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're a parent um, and you're sitting back and your child's talking about what they're doing in math class, mm -hmm. um, a good indicator that they're in an amazing math class is that they're saying we as well, right? Yeah. So these are like amazing markers that parents and teachers can both use to see and really think about where their teaching's at is if they're using we and our to describe what's happening in the classroom. Awesome, Tina. This is great. All right. So I hope everyone enjoyed this um, this discussion about we and what to look for in your own teaching and in your your child's teach your child's classroom and how they describe it. Um, please again, uh, like, follow, share. We're so grateful for all of this, for all that our, all everyone's doing, and we just want to continue it and get it out there as many to as many people as we possibly can. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.